Now I know this looks familiar, but no, this isn't Dark Souls. Stop me if you've heard this before, but someone has actually modded Skyrim. Crazy, right? Creator Rudolf Sergei is importing locations, characters, and even dioramas of major set-piece bosses from Dark Souls into Skyrim's Special Edition, and releasing it all for free. Even the way you just access this content is pretty cool. Go to this location just northwest of this White Watch Tower, and directly south of Dawnstar, and you'll see a familiar From Software face, Ronnie the Witch, along with several ground sigils and a bonfire. Rudolph is still adding elements from various games as he continues the modding process, including Dark Souls 3 and even Sekiro, but for now, the biggest chunk of added content is from Dark Souls 1, and you can teleport to Lordran by touching the bonfire. Just have to make sure to get your cursor in... the right spot... There, uh, oh, there it goes. This will take you directly outside of the Undead Asylum, and you'll probably notice the enemies are missing. While you can call certain enemies using the console inside of Skyrim, these Dark Souls locations won't have aggressive enemies inside of them. Think of it more as a guided tour to some of your favorite areas around Lordran. It's pretty unreal how much there is. I walked straight through the Asylum, Firelink Shrine, and all the way through the Undead Burg before I even started going to other locations. Here's a longer look at some of these beginning areas. While it was really cool poking through these beginning zones, I really wanted to see what some of the other areas had to offer. Naturally, I did what any disturbed person would do, and I went to Blight Town.
Having sated my love for rickety bridges and poison swamps, I want to check out Anna Rolando next. One of my favorite details of this mod is the actual topographical map with all of the Dark Souls locations. It's just a really nice touch, and most of these areas you can just fast travel to if you want to have a look around. We're of course including the link to the mod in the description below this video if you want to try it out yourself, but be warned it's not done through the usual method of automation through Nexus mods. You'll need to download Mod Organizer 2, a utility mod for Skyrim SE in Nexus mods, and then manually add the mod yourself which you can download from Sergey's Boosty page. But it's not too bad, even for a dum dum like me. We hope you enjoyed this awesome mod, because we certainly did. If there are any other mods for Skyrim or otherwise that you'd like us to cover, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And while you're here, check out our video covering Skyrim with Shadow of Mordor's Nemesis system. And for everything else gaming, you're already in the right place. IGN.